how you doing all? It feels like forever since I sat down. <laughs> I know it's only been a little over a week because I, I ended up filming, I think it was um, like, was it Wednesday night or Thursday morning? Wednesday night because I had to be in the office all day Thursday. So I had to do all of my prep work on Wednesday before I left for Chicago. So it's been, it was longer than, than usual on there. So it feels like it's been forever since I talked to you and we went shopping, we did the things we went, we traveled, we did all the, the stuff, but, um, I'm back and it's back to switch up Saturday and all the fantastic stuff. I finally, <laughs> I guess, unpacked. I've, un I've, taking everything out of the suitcases <laughs> so I've got bags purchases over there yeah it's still it's a mess in here but I've I've unpacked <laughs> so I've gotten some some stuff done um had to literally work a lot it, it's just been it was a bad idea to not take additional time off. So note to self and note to everyone else, but, but, you know, give yourself some grace and build in some extra time to either recoup from your vacation, prep for your vacation. I'm the kind of person who's like, I want to minimize any time of an inconvenience to my employer. So it's like I literally took two hours off in the afternoon before I left and then was gone like the the one day only that a full day so I yeah I should have taken an additional day I was so tired it was so so much and then it went by so fast it was just like a whirlwind and I'm I was just so sad to say bye to everyone and I just wish I had had more time just to I don't know do all the things but it was a good it was great I'll have a vlog that shows like what I did remember to film because I was horrible <laughs> I was like I was just in the moment most of the time and just trying to enjoy the company um of everyone who came to it it's just so much fun to see you know Caleb and Zane again and then all the other um, people that I met last year and then a couple of new folks from that came this year. Um, Jamie from Lux Petite came and that was really cool to meet her. Um, it was just like, oh, and from um, uh, Beauty Lux Lover, <laughs> she came as well. Um, it was just yeah, it was just really cool to meet new people, but also just going back and it, just, it was just like seeing, you know, old friends from the past and, we, you know, catching right back up to, you know, where we left off. And it was just such a great experience. And I, I want to say this really um, sincerely. There's just something about having these these folks that you have this common bond with this, this genuine, um, just, I don't know, just affinity with. It. And I, it's, it's so rare that I can, you can be that authentic with people, right? It's just like, just being yourself and being true to what you love like here like nobody's into handbags and designer goods and it's they all think it's frivolous and stupid and all that kind of, you know you're very judgmental kind of and it's just it's just lovely to be around folks that understand you know why you why you find joy in these things why you feel that they make you happy and aren't going to pass judgment because you want to enjoy those things even if it's just looking you're you're just enjoying those things and it was just so nice to just be around folks that are of like mind and you know it's just like I don't know it was just such a great experience to um to be in that environment and and, and be with these folks that um are just so kind and are, I mean, I consider them all friends. I mean, we don't live in the same area or same town or anything like that. And they only talk on occasion, so to speak, but I still would consider them, you know, friends. So it was just a really joyous time, in my opinion. And, you know, 
I, I look forward to it. This is only the second time I look forward to it every year and try to make every effort I can to, to be a part of it. Cause it was just such a great, um, experience so I you know if you ever get a chance to be part of that kind of thing it doesn't have to necessarily be this type of meetup but anything that that brings you joy and just lets you um, gather with with folks of like mind I I just encourage it because it's just something that just was really special so anywho we are back we're back to the routine um I let's just go to, right to nails. So I decided to do this um, rose gold flake taco for my manicure, thinking it was going to be very low maintenance. And technically it was. However, I broke literally every nail on my trip, had quite the, the fiascos with them. So I pretty much, I think, filed down just about every nail to almost nubs. Um, then... This is about all that's left is that this few ones right here on this hand on Thursday this week, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday this week, all of a sudden these just like started peeling off in sheets. So it was really unusual that this, so this whole hand is naked at this point, um, which it hadn't, it hadn't been doing that. So I have these kind of nails that resist polish really easily. Um, and the more layers I put on, the more prone to peeling they get. But I only had two layers on, so this, it was a little bit unusual. But anyway, so um, it was fine while I had them on the initial couple days, um, except for, you know, the breakage and stuff that happened. But that was luggage and just dry hands from the travel and everything. So we're going to spend the next couple of weeks recuperating and making things better and lotion and all the you know all the things cuticle oil healing we're going to be on a healing journey for the next couple of weeks so I will find something that will mask I guess this this look um we will trade our fragrances we will trade out the bag I'm kind of hesitant to trade out the bag because while I was in the Cassie for almost 10 days now, um, the during the trip, I kind of swapped bags like almost every day and sometimes twice a day. So it's like I'd wear a bag during the day and then go into the Felici for the for dinner, you know, like my night bag to go out. And I think I really only wore the Cassie like truly um, Sunday and Monday morning to shop and then it got packed into the larger burrow on Friday for travel and on Monday afternoon for travel so it was pretty much packed away and then for you know being home I only went out a couple times this last week so I didn't really carry it as much as I'd like and it's really lovely got a lot of compliments on it um maybe I'll talk about it more when we're, when we're packing it away so I think I want to revisit Cassie again in a future um week um I do need to go into the office twice this week this is going to this is like what twice so one full day Monday um had to go in the office all day long and I have to go to another um all staff on Wednesday. So I have to think about what bag will work to either be the bag to carry everything, laptop and all the things, or a bag to go inside the Neverfull because usually that's my work bag to go in to the office. So um gonna think about that and figure out which one makes sense. Maybe a bag I haven't carried yet, which I don't I don't even know where I'm at at this point got 30 bags that I've, I've gone to, but I know that there's some that I have not carried. So um, I will figure that out. We'll go over and do all the things over there and um, I'll come back when I'm done and wrap it up as we, as we do every week. So great to see you again. Okay, so this was the tray of the week. It was a grit, I, th I thought a good tray. Um, I took Corbaton, um, Wood Sage Sea Salt, and my travel spray of um, 
Contramaw right here completely emptied that one. Um, this one I'm even down quite a bit. And then I used that one quite a bit. So yeah, I really enjoyed having those with me on the trip. Came back to Skylar and of course pumpkin spice latte here. Um, Emerald Rain. So enjoyed having this selection. So I'm going to put those away and see what, now that we're in November, do we go straight to more robust and rich scents? I don't know. Let me, let me get up here on my collection and see. Okay. So this one's looks really sparse, but they're, they're some of my favorite ones. So I'm going to do Mirror and Tonka from Joe Malone. That's a little heavier, but still a pretty nice scent. Um, I want to do a Trap Revs again because um, when we were in Chicago, the LV boutique I went into, they were interesting. Um, had no samples available. I did make a purchase. I'll show that in another video. But... Um, they just were, let's just say not as helpful as I had, had hoped. So, um, I didn't make a purchase. I didn't, I, I sniffed around the, the fragrances, but it seemed like the fragrances didn't match the bottles. And I was kind of paranoid about what's going on there. So, um, yeah, just didn't feel confident making a purchase in, in Chicago. So I want to just keep trying that out and then probably we'll place an order online for a trap revs. Uh, gonna do the discontinued. I take a cologne in vanilla and sensei and orange sanguine, some of my favorite ones. And then lastly, I'm gonna pull out one I haven't worn in quite some time. I don't think I've worn this this year, even. Um, this is Tiara from House of Siage, a very pretty um scent. The cupcake is gorgeous. If you ever get a chance, I'll, I'll find a picture and insert it. It's it just is a beautiful, um, I think one of, the, one of the original scents she came out with, just a gorgeous bottle. And one of these days I might splurge on the cupcake, but um, for now, this, this is what I have. And I'm until I use it up, I don't see any need to buy another one, but it is a really nice scent. So this is the try of the week. So really quickly, I, since I'm on my healing journey for my nails, I'm just going to grab one of these Aurora Unicorn Skins uh, Polar Princess is the one that's striking my fancy for the week. So we will just plop those on the nails and enjoy. Okay, we got to put bags away. So as I mentioned, I took Felici with me. It's still out. Got to put it away. Took Cassie with me. Took the giant burrow with me and Ricky, and Ricky's over there. So Ricky, I gotta put way up there at some point. So I'll get a ladder and get it up there. But yeah, so I gotta swap out of Cassie and I'm a little bit disappointed that I can get to spend more time in her because I really did enjoy carrying um, the bag. It's very versatile, it carries a lot. It's very comfortable, love the strap. Got lots of compliments on it. Um, it, I think I need, I need several because, or I need to push up Matisse, <laughs> but I don't. I think this is a great alternative and the style of it is just a really nice um, bag. So if I can get my hands on another of this size, I will be very happy. I'm trying to think maybe a, maybe a burgundy like oxblood or... Maybe even a cream one for like spring, summer, that kind of thing. But I can you know, I just gravitate toward dark, dark bags. This was surprisingly also very versatile for the color. It's that, you know, green, really, really dark, um, evergreen color. And it pulled, when I wore a blue sweater, it pulled blue. When I wore black, it kind of went a little bit more like, a black tone with just a hint of a color. I think of what other colors I wore that it just, it just went with everything. So it's surprisingly neutral. I'm really, I'm really pleased by it. I think it's the hardware. And that was something that really people really caught their eyes was the, um, the hardware for sure. So definitely a fan of, of that. Um, let's see here. So 
have all the cash and little things in here. The earbuds from the airplane are still in there. Lip gloss. The girls are fighting behind me, so please ignore that. Um, really, ladies? Really? Um, oh, yeah. And then, you know, Jolie included this lovely little case for the strap, which is just really convenient. So when I went, I had the strap in it and then I ended up using um, it to carry, I want to say it was my, ju my jewelry or something else on the way back. So I ended up carrying this on the way back and repurposed this for another, oops, another purpose. So thank you, Jolie. It was very, very kind of you to include that, but it is going back into what you intended it to be, the strap storage. So going to put that away, going to find the bag that makes sense for this week and be right back. Okay, I think I found the bag and it will not suit the purpose this week. I'll need to swap, swap out of it at least once. Um, I can carry it on Wednesday, but um, I can't carry it on Monday. So whatever, the rest of the week you'll be fine. I'm gonna carry Trippy. And the reason why is because it it's so on trend with the bag charms. I can throw another five, six charms on there and you know be totally with what all the kids are wearing. So I always leave these two little Amazon charms on it. I'm not even thinking about it. So I could totally get a couple more on there. And but I just really love Trevi. I don't carry her lately as much as I used to. I think this is probably the one bag that I would carry most often. I would swap out of my Neverfull and this one. This would be like my you know, shopping around, that would be my work bag. And I just, because I'm such a, a fan of a Ben, I just kind of, you know, just, I'm boring. So yeah, we're going to carry, carry this, load it up with all the things that I didn't get to carry last week. So sunglasses, it's supposed to be sunny for a day or two this week, uh, cash cards, Keys, the other keys are in the other room. I need coin, um, pencil case, uh, cuticle oil, and Chanel lip gloss will go in these pockets and phone. So, this is the Trevi GM. It is quite massive actually on the inside. I have an organizer in there just to keep it clean. Um, and you know the, the story. I bought this from Autumn Beckman. She sold it because it was all misshapen. I don't care. I think it's beautiful. Um, it doesn't bother me. I love it. So she's mine now and I am very fond of it. This will be the bag of the week. So Trevi GM from Louis Vuitton. Okay. So that's a wrap. I think I've blabbed a little bit too much on this one. So I'm going to rein it in. Um, I did my um, Polar Princess nails. So really simple manicure, getting ready for the week, kind of just chilling out. Um, let me think of what I wanted to clue in on. So there's some purchases arriving UPS came yesterday, did the uh, Dior purchase that I made in Chicago. I had it shipped home because didn't run out of space. In, I ran out of space in the in the uh, suitcase. So um, I shipped home Dior. I shipped home Burberry. Uh, Fendi is coming. <laughs> uh, these aren't like major purchases, but I, I, I did, I did some damage. I didn't buy any bags though. So that's a spoiler. There are no bags, no matter how much I wanted to. I tried, I, I tried things on. I wanted to buy a bag. Nothing, nothing spoke to me, but I did buy some, <laughs> bought some things <laughs> and there was a theme throughout all of the purchases, oddly enough, but you will see them. You will see them soon. And you know, one of them you you might see very often on my channel and 
that's the biggest hint I'm going to give you. So, you know, look for the, look for the hint somewhere. Anywho, I hope you're having a great week, weekend, week ahead, all the things. I hope that, oh my God, it's November. I hope that November is going to be a fabulous month for you. I'm already starting to put in my time off requests for the holidays. I'm trying to think of what Vlogmas is going to be about. I've already bought some things for Giftmas. So we're prepping, prepping for the giveaways at the end of the year, all the things. So it's just time flying by. So thanks for just being here. So I appreciate you. I will talk to you next time. Bye.